Pollen allergies giving you a case of the springtime sniffles? Well, we're allergic to mycotoxins, no matter what season it is. This is the Mycotoxin Minute. Now that spring has sprung in the Northern Hemisphere, we continue our series on ergot alkaloids as promised. To jog your memory, we last left Claviceps purpurea, the fungus that produces ergots, hibernating in its sclerotium. But by now, with the lengthening days and the rising temperatures, our fungal friend has been waking up. You can tell by the parathecia, or fruiting structures, which it produces as a way of flinging its spores into the air. These spores, or ascospores if you want to get technical, and I'm sure you do, infect the ovary of a floret in grain like wheat or rye by penetrating its pollen tube. Once the ovary is infected, the honeydew stage begins. And no, I'm not referring to the melon that is everyone's least favorite part of a fruit salad. Honeydew, in the context of ergot alkaloids, refers to the sticky, yellowish, sugary solution made up of sap from the host plant and conidia from the fungus. Stay with me here because I know I'm dropping more than a few new vocab words on you, but this is important. Conidia are asexual spores of the fungus, and they are essential for spreading the disease beyond this one host plant. The sweetness of the honeydew attracts insects, which then carry the spores with them to other plants, where the cycle continues and multiplies. To make matters worse, rain can spread the conidia even further. A quick reminder why we should care. Ergot alkaloids are extremely toxic, causing symptoms such as gangrene and convulsions, meaning that they also affect the nervous system. In the European Middle Ages, they called the resulting disease in humans St. Anthony's Fire, proof that this mycotoxin has been known for some time. So what happens to our conidia after they spread and find their way into plants? We'll answer that question when we check back in at harvest time, say in July or August or so. For more about ergots, check out the knowledge library at romerlabs.com. Thanks and bye.